The big picture is that we're in the midst of a diabetes epidemic. Diabetes epidemic is related to a simultaneous obesity epidemic, and they're both related to changes in lifestyle, including changes in diet. We all know that um, calories are more easily available as fast food and they're cheap. And, and our lifestyles have become more sedentary. People who are on rotating shift work, or you might say the night shift, they're working when the sun is down, and we're biologically programmed to be working and aroused and awake uh, when the sun is up. And uh, what's realized is that the biology of what's called circadian rhythms, the rhythms of the body that correlate with night and day, are programmed to fit with what our normal activities would be, including, for example, eating uh, when it's light out and sleeping when it's dark out. And when this gets mucked up, this could be a problem for the body's metabolism as well as for the sleep cycles. What we found was that several molecules that are present in the liver act as a team and work together to regulate genes involved in the making of fat and that every day the team comes together because one of the members of the team called Reverb, one of these molecules, its level goes up, the other members of the team come together, they go to all the genes, many genes in the cell involved in lipid metabolism, regulate those genes, actually turn them off, but then after a period of time, and it's about 12 hours that it takes, Reverb's level goes away, so the other members of the team have no place to go but away from the genome, and the process ends only to begin again the next day. We were able to uh, make the process go awry by um, making a situation where the molecules could not be made, and when that happens, uh, the liver fills up with fat. A fatty liver uh, is a real problem. It's a big problem because um, not only is it um, can make the liver bigger and uncomfortable, but in fact it can lead to liver damage, and liver damage can lead to a disease called cirrhosis, which is one of the major causes of liver transplantation in the U.S. As much as this work was about a team of molecules, we couldn't have done it without a great team of scientists. And the team of scientists are in my laboratory at University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine, led by a graduate student named Dan Fang with help of several other really talented graduate students and uh, postdoctoral fellows. Well, now that we know um, that this team of molecules is playing such a critical role in not only making fat in the liver, but the timing of how the fat is made, we want to understand how this relates to obesity and diabetes. In obesity and diabetes, we know that there's more fat in the liver. And what we want to know now is whether the increased fat in the liver in these disease conditions is because this team is working inappropriately or because there's some other process happening you know, more or less in parallel. 